Hi, I'm Devin Froschizer, uh, and as part of the BUSN 779 course, I'm here today to talk to you about uh, my current facility, which is the Grand Rapids Components Holding uh, plant as part of General Motors, and specifically its driveline organization to transition from manufacturing powertrain axles to manufacturing um, e-axles. You know, General Motors has this vision of um, zero emissions, zero crashes, and zero congestion, and it's it really um, is living out that. In fact, in Q4 of 2017, GM issued a statement to the public that said by 2023, it would have 20 plus all electric vehicles uh, in the marketplace globally. And in order for driveline and its overall plant to continue to exist, it must actually evolve with General Motors towards that all electric future. And e-axles is the way for driveline to continue to do that. So as the marketplace changes, um, driveline still holds a valuable spot in the automotive industry. Uh, e-axles financially are favorable for driveline to manufacture because based on market research, there's actually a compound annual growth rate of over 34% for e-axles between 2018 and 2025. So not only is there a GM push for an electric future, there's an overall marketplace desire for e-axles. Um, additionally, based on financial statements conducted, you know, performa income statements, balance sheets, cash flow statements, um, all of them show favorable for driveline to manufacture uh, e-axles. In fact, there's a break-even point of only six months, uh, which is huge. From a manpower perspective and an operational planning perspective, uh, executing the strategy of manufacturing e-axles is going to be, for lack of a better word, rather painless uh, for a driveline. And that's because it's already manufacturing axles. The machining portion of the business will not need to change other than minor design changes, but the overall machines themselves don't need to change. The manpower won't change. Um, and there'll be very little changing to the headcount. The assembly portion of the business will need some slight IT upgrades um, and equipment modifications, but overall, um, minimal impact to the current process in order to reap massive um, financial gains and, and really secure driveline's future, um, you know, again, in the auto industry and ensure that its doors stay open and it continues to um, provide employment for hundreds of people in the Grand Rapids area. And with that, I will close and open it up for questions. Thank you.